Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Nathaniel Crawford here. I am the broker for Black Luxury Realty here in sunny South Florida, helping you achieve your real estate goals. Uh, so today I have a quick conversation I want to have with you. I get a lot of questions uh, very often uh, about the name of uh, my brokerage here, uh, Black Luxury Realty, and have on a couple occasions been accused of having a racist brokerage. <laughs> and uh, nothing could be further from the truth. That is not, not the case. So I figured I'd, I'd make a quick video here to sort of explain where Black Luxury Realty came from. And in order to do that, I got to tell you a little bit more about myself and sort of how I came into real estate. So uh, many, many years ago, I uh, got my real estate license. And when I came here to, to South Florida and had the, the opportunity to work with uh, Turnberry International Realty and my, my good friend, uh, Seth Kaufman, gave me a chance there. And uh, at the time, he was just a client. He wasn't a good friend. But now he's a he's a a wonderful friend, man. We've done some amazing things together, and I'm incredibly thankful for him and, and all the stuff we've gotten to do together. Uh, when I came to Turnberry, uh, one of the things that struck me was uh, it was very lonely uh, because there were there was nobody else there that looked like me. So while luxury real estate is, is really exciting, I, I've learned a tremendous amount. I spent uh, years trying to find people in the luxury space that looked like looked like me. And what I found is that very often is agents either get pigeonholed into the, the sports and entertainment uh, segment of real estate. Uh, while, and while that's, there's nothing wrong with that, there are a lot of, uh, a lot of opportunity there, a lot of, a lot of black folks in sports and entertainment that do very well. Uh, my experience has been that the vast majority of my luxury clients that were black were not athletes or entertainers. So uh, just sort of trying to understand and sort of get my mind around that. And then just in general, not seeing uh, other agents of color in the luxury space. And so uh, over the years, as I sort of dug into some of the data outside of just my anecdotal experience is... Uh, according to the National Association of Realtors, less than 8% of all realtors are black. Less than uh, probably about one and a half, maybe 2% of all luxury realtors are, are black. And seeing that, I was like, well, how do I, how do I, how can I address that, right? How can we bring more, more people into, into the, the real estate business? Uh, and and make it make it more more diverse, more inclusive for for people of color. And there's there's not really uh, a concerted effort uh, in the luxury space to do that. So uh, now that didn't mean that I wanted to go out and build a brokerage that was solely going to sell real estate to black people. That's not that's not the intent. I have a bunch of black clients, of course, but I also have a lot of clients that are not black. My goal is to help people achieve their real estate goals and to be a living example to anyone who wants to get into real estate to see that. Uh, I also want to make it clear that there are specific areas in society and business where black people are disproportionately affected or uh, disproportionately ignored uh, in marketing or in development. So how do we address those things? is we be present in those places and we have those conversations. So I'm super excited to be able to do what I do. I'm incredibly thankful. I've been a part of some amazing deals uh, and to be able to share that information with people who wanna get into real estate. Is it my goal to, to inspire black folks to get into luxury real estate? Absolutely. Uh, but I wanna inspire anybody, but specifically, <laughs> black folks because we're, your, your presence is needed and there is a, a clear gap in the market for that. I, I think as we put more people in places 
that have familiarity with communities that are affected with with gentrification, uh, with all types of the, the disproportionate effects of uh, development on certain communities that changes things, but that also uh, creates an opportunity in a lot of these luxury spaces for people who look like me to be able to get into some of those doors and achieve those things. You know, there are, are very few uh, black developers who are building amazing condo buildings. How do we change that? We start making more strides into luxury real estate. So it's, it's not at all uh, me trying to alienate one group or another, but it is me trying to highlight issues in one community and be, be a living example of the achievement that's possible and offering that information to to people who care about it so it's not it's not oh well, we're just going you know push everybody else out and, and and be 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 uh uh disrespectful you know be be uh exclusive of of those people who don't look like us that's not that's not the chat that's not the the goal here that's not what i do uh, my business is dedicated to uh, providing luxury real estate services to luxury clients. It's great that there are people that look like me and I get to work with them, but those aren't the only people I work with. So understanding that there's a need for that diversity and that diversity adds value. It adds a tremendous amount of value at every price point, getting people in uh, communities that are facing gentrification to understand what's going on because someone who's familiar with the community is able to articulate that to them in a way and has appreciation for the character and culture of a community versus just coming into a community and seeing wonderful investment opportunities and spending a bunch of money and raising people's property taxes and pushing out uh, culturally relevant things which is not not, the, not not always the intent of some developers, but that is usually what happens when they don't have anybody on their team to sort of educate them about what's going on. So uh, the goal of Black Luxury Realty is to provide real estate services and help you to achieve your real estate goals in a diverse way. You know, that's We want the, the real estate community at large to reflect the community that we serve at large. And right now, while there is a lot of progress being made on that, it's uh, there's still some, some, some opportunity there, uh, especially in the luxury space. So as we, we sort of grow this, there are other agents out there that are doing amazing things and do way, way, way more, more money than me right now. Uh, I'm coming for you. I'm, I'm coming because we're doing pretty good over here too. But there, there's some amazing uh, agents out there that are doing really, really cool things. And to be able to add to that and sort of raise the, the visibility of, of agents of color in the luxury space and show other new agents and experienced agents for that matter uh, what's possible is really, really exciting. Uh, so it's uh, definitely a, a message of, of inclusion and not exclusion and making sure that people understand that we're, we're here, we're here to be able to operate in these spaces and we have the experience, the expertise, the network to be able to sell real estate at any price point. You know, at the middle market, investment property, luxury property, that's what we're, we're here to do. You know, I have been blessed to be a part of $30,000 foreclosure deals, but I've also done $30 million private equity deals. Uh, in many cases, I was the only person of color in the room, and it is my goal to, to change that. Uh, and one of the ways to change that is to let people know that, that we exist. So uh, it also doesn't hurt that, well, one of my favorite colors is black. <laughs> my business operates in the black. My, my mama is black. My daddy is black. <laughs> Some of my favorite colors are black. So th this is a good thing. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, but that's uh, that's sort of the short version. I'm 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 all about uh, helping to raise the visibility and viability of African American agents in the real estate space, but I'm also about helping everyone achieve their real estate goals in a way that's uh, inclusive and 
exclusive, unique to their uh, luxury culture. That's where the, the term luxury culture came from. And that every person, every person, regardless of their race, creed, or color, has a unique luxury culture. And our goal here at Black Luxury Realty is to create a real estate experience around your unique luxury culture, understanding your life and where real estate uh, uh, holds a space in your life and then designing a, a plan to achieve your real estate goals based on on that life. We're here to, to do that. And uh, real estate is a very exciting opportunity to be able to do well and do good at the same time. So uh, I'm happy to have a longer conversation about it, but I, I want to just give some some clarity on around what what we came here to do, and that's you know to help people achieve their real estate goals while increasing diversity in the real estate space. So, my name is Nathaniel Crawford. I am here to help you achieve your real estate goals all over South Florida at Black Luxury Realty uh, through your unique luxury culture. Uh, let's talk soon.